All right, in this video, we're looking at errors that can uh, occur in InDesign and how to look at them and what to do with them. So I have this file here that I made and there are some mistakes in it and they're made for a reason, quite frankly. And the issue is um, when I'm ready to package this, let's pretend I'm ready to send this as a PDF, it's ready to go print, uh, but I think, you know, I see everything, it looks pretty good, but maybe there's some issues that I don't see. Well, InDesign helps me look at that. And it's down here in this uh, kind of bottom panel here, it says two errors. And what I could also look at, what that's called, it's called the pre-flight. If I click on this drop down arrow, it'll show me the pre flight panel. Uh, the, sorry, the pre flight panel. Uh, I can have different profiles, a few different things I could do. Now, this can also be found under window and output. And here it is. This is exactly what would open pre flight. Let me actually not open it here. Let me open it down here. So, that's all I do is double click on the errors. And here's my pre flight panel that shows up. Now, the first thing that we need to know is that the profile they're using is a basic profile that they've made themselves. Uh, InDesign has made There's some general things that we should look at when we're printing and some of the issues that might come up right well right now it's showing me there's two errors and now let's look at those errors first it shows me there's a link error and there's one link error so that's all I do is click on the drop down it shows me yeah there's a missing link okay so I click on that drop it down and see it shows me that there's a 72 pixel per inch tiff which in the basic profile shows me that that's going to be an issue. Any uh, TIFF that's less than, uh, I think, 250, 260 pixels per inch, it's going to kind of flag it. Now, this is just a warning. It's not doing anything for me. It's not going to stop me from making a PDF or anything. It's just a warning. So I can click on that. I can actually say, oh, it's on page one. Well, where is it on page one? So it'll actually click, when I click on that, it'll actually show me the image that is the problem. And if I go to my links panel, say, yeah, you know what, you're right and I can see the information that it is a 72 pixel per inch image and that's obviously not a good thing but in this case it's okay because that was my point that I did want to do that but for the most part I would know okay you know I got to update that image to 300 pixels per inch if I want to save this if I want to prepare this for print uh, now the other one here is there's a text issue now I do have to mention these are the most common issues that I've come across there are other issues and I'm going to go through that in just a little bit uh, but these are the most common ones we're going to kind of look at. I have a text issue. This one happens all the time. Overset text. So I click on that drop down and I see text frame and I click on here and it shows me, oh, there it is. It takes me right to it. And I see what it's called as overset text means the frame is smaller than the amount of content that's inside of it. So I have that little red plus sign that shows up, meaning I just need to extend my text frame a little bit bigger or potentially how big uh, to make sure that all the content and is shown now the best way for me to do that obviously right click and I like to go to fitting and fit frame to content and the content once again will fit inside the frame properly the frame will move not the content so now all of a sudden once I did that you saw it disappeared so let me bring that back again I'm gonna make a mistake oh it fit it brought it back it said yeah there's still an issue okay well let me fix it and now it's going to disappear. Now, obviously with the image, I could either delete the image or go back in Photoshop and fix up the image, make it 300 pixels per inch, and then I would get rid of that error. Okay. So now the other idea is here that there are some different profiles you can make. So here you could uh, define the current profiles you have. I did make my own profile, uh, but I'm just going to show you there's some other pre flight options and all this, but I just want to show you this other uh, print document that I made. So there's even more issues that I have if I go into define profiles. So now obviously I can make a new profile. I could get rid of some. So here's a new pro profile that I made. You could make your own, it doesn't matter, but just to look at all the different things that we can actually look at. So let me close these off and just kind of look at it basically. So general ideas we're going to look at um, are the links what link issues could there be that you want InDesign to let you know that there's a warning to let you know that, hey, you know what, you might want to look at this before you save it as a print uh, or save it for print or send it to print or whatever. Uh, links are missing or modified, inaccessible UR links share. What about color issues? Um, no uh, spot colors are set up uh, properly. Color space and modes not allowed. So there's quite a few different things that you might want to be warned about. Uh, images and text, uh, certain images, they any image 
range below 250, it will be flagged uh, 250 pixels per inch. Um, just a bunch of non-proportional scaling are placed on a really, really great idea, minimum strokes, because if they get too small, uh, they might not print properly. So well, a few different image objects, image and object ideas that we could look at, uh, some bleed things we could look at, text, overset text, fonts missing, glyphs missing. So these things might be very useful for us to be warned about. So therefore we can actually kind of have a better understanding of like, oh, you know, I made an error. Let me see if I need to fix it or if it's something that I, I'm okay with. So you can set up your own different profiles and, and, and that would always be helpful too. But either way, you would fix your um, issues if you have them, then you can save your PDF and you're kind of good to go. So that's errors. That's where you could find them. It's always good to look over, obviously, your spelling and grammar and all your pictures and make sure the resolution is proper, the text uh, is not overset. It's always good to have something helping you uh, see if there's any problems before you actually send it to print. And this pre-flight is the best way to do that in InDesign.